Good evening. I'm calling to order this meeting of the Arlington Select Board on Monday, April the 10th, 2023. I am Select Board Chair Eric Helmuth. Tonight's meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format consistent with Chapter 2 of the Acts of 2023 signed into law on March 29th, 2023 which further extends certain COVID-19 measures regarding remote participation in public meetings until March 31st, 2025. Before we, get, we begin, please note the following. First, this meeting is being conducted in the select board chambers and over Zoom. It is being recorded and simultaneously broadcast on ACMI. Second, persons wishing to join the meeting by Zoom may find information on how to do so on the town's website. Persons participating by Zoom are reminded that you may be visible to others and that if you wish to participate, we ask that you will provide your full name in the interest of developing a record of the meeting. Third, all participants are advised that people may be listening who do not provide comment and those persons are not required to identify themselves. Both Zoom participants and persons watching on ACMI can follow the posted agenda materials found on the town's website, specifically the select board agendas and minutes page. Let's see how much of the town's business we can get done tonight. Our first order of business is an executive session. And for the public's information, we, uh, I will in a moment entertain a motion to go into executive session. We will adjourn to executive session. Uh, the public access to the meeting and to Zoom will be disabled. When we conclude that session, we will adjourn back to this public session to conduct the rest of the meeting. At this time, I will entertain a motion from a member yeah. to go to executive session. I'm sorry, Attorney, Attorney Hyde. Before we do that, um, I just want to clarify, we're on hybrid, but everybody is here in person. Yes. So it's not necessary for us to take the roll call about who's present, correct? Correct. Great, thank you. That is my understanding. Is that your understanding? Yes, yes. Sorry, just to Yeah, Make absolutely. Sure the same yes, thank you. Do I have a motion to enter an executive session? So moved. Do I have a second? second. This and and I, I guess, I'll, do I need to say the whole preamble or can I just say move to executive session? I think we want to say the purpose of going to okay. an executive session is for, to my understanding, contract negotiations with James Feeney, uh, town, uh, prospective town manager, uh, as you know, it would be detrimental to the board to have these discussions in open session. Is that correct, Mr. Mon? Yes, thank you, Attorney Hahn. Thank well you, said. Mr. Chairman. Did someone second that? I did. I did a second. All right. Does this require a roll, roll call vote on a motion by Mrs. Mahan and a second by Mr. DeCourcy? Attorney Heim. Mrs. Mahan. Yes. Mr. DeCourcy. Yes. Mr. Diggins. Yes. Mr. Hurd. Yes. Mr. Helm. Yes. We are in executive session. Welcome back. I am Eric Helmuth, Chair of the uh, Town of Arlington Select Board, returning from executive session. I'm very pleased to inform the town that the Select Board has just taken a unanimous vote to appoint James Feeney as our next town manager to succeed Sandy Pooler upon his retirement. Mr. Feeney's uh, tenure will begin August 1st, 2023. And uh, to our delight, he has accepted the appointment in executive session. At this time, however, I'd like to take a public vote for the approval of his contract and invite Mr. Feeney to make remarks. I will now entertain a motion to approve Mr. Feeney's contract and appoint him as our next town manager. I'd like to uh, make a motion to appoint James R. Feeney as our next town manager, contract starting August 1st, 2023. Mr. Second. Any further discussion? On a motion by Mrs. Mahan, seconded by Mr. Diggins. Attorney Hyman, would you please take the roll? Sure. Uh, do, you, do you want me to take a roll call just to have it sort of commemorated? Yes. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Mahan? Yes. Mr. DeCourcy? Yes. yes. Mr. Diggins? Yes. Mr. Hurd? Yes. Mr. Hellman? Yes. It's a unanimous vote. Thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Feeney. Mr. Feeney. Um, at this time, I invite you to make any remarks you wish to the board or to the town. First off, thank you to each and every member. Uh, 
I'll be brief, but I'll just say that when I first started working for the town nearly 14 years ago, I had no idea what a town manager was or what they did. But today, I can think of no better line of work. So I'm grateful to each and every one of you for your continued support, your trust, and your confidence in me. I uh, look forward to continuing to serve this community, this wonderful community, hopefully for many years to come as its next town manager. It's truly the professional honor of a lifetime. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Freeman. Mrs. Mahan. <clears throat> and just very briefly, I'd like to say not only to Mr. Feeney, but also to um, Arlington as a whole that um, having uh, gone through the town manager search process for many years, since 1999, oh, as a senior member on the board, um, I'm very pleased with, uh, uh, from both sides of the table, uh, during the negotiations that, um, of course, each side of the table has a best, vested interest, but also both sides of the table also took into account um, what's best for the town moving forward, what's best for any future um, select board members. And one of the things that I'm really heartened by having Mr. Feeney um, coming in in August as our next town manager is not only the fact the 14 years tenure with the town that you've uh, worked Board of Health facilities, I shouldn't stop just naming everything, but um, moving forward uh, with all of our employees, um, M schedule, but also especially our, our union employees, um, quite a few of them um, also had really glowing uh, remarks about having worked with you to date in, in various capacities. And one of the things that um, we stressed and got with Mr. Chapdelaine and also Will with you is just the core basis of, of any sort of uh, issue, whether it's uh, union negotiations, whether it's a public works issue is, is going in with a respect and willingness to listen. And we're, we're certainly going to get that with you. So I'm very appreciative. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mrs. Mahan. Any further remarks? Thank you again. Congratulations, Mr. Feeney. And uh, we'll be seeing you sooner and later. <laughs> very good. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Next item on the, on, on the agenda, is the consent agenda. We have the minutes of meetings from March 27th and April 3rd, 2023. For approval, the Memorial Day ceremony on May 29th by Mr. Chungla, Director of Veteran Services. A request for a special one-day all-alcohol license uh, at Fidelity House by Frank Testore. A request for a special one-day beer and wine license on uh, April 29th at the Arlington Community Center for the Spotlight Fundraiser by Tom Farmacola of the Arlington Center for the Arts. Do I have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. A motion to approve by Mr. Diggins and a second by Mr. Hurd. Is there any discussion? Mrs. Mahan. Just very briefly, I want to thank um, our, directors of our Director of Veteran Services, Mr. Chungro, for having uh, our keynote speaker and Arlington resident um, is it Admiral Rapp? I'm trying to find, so I don't. Uh, Major General uh, Rapp, um, who also has um, volunteered and given talks um, here in the town of Arlington on a whole array of, of different issues. And um, I'm, I'm very pleased to see he'll be the keynote sp speaker. So thank you. Any other discussion? Seeing none, on a motion to approve by Mr. Diggins, seconded by Mr. Hurd, and this is what I get for not writing it down. All in favor, please say yes. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. <coughs> Excuse me. Next item on the agenda is open forum. Except in unusual circumstances, any matter presented for consideration of the board shall neither be acted upon nor a decision made the night of the presentation in accordance with the policy under which the open forum was established. It should be noted that there is a three minute time limit to present a concern or request. At this time, I'm seeing no one in the select board chamber. If you are participating on Zoom and you wish to address the board for three minutes, please raise your hand in Zoom at this time. Well, a few seconds for people to do that. 
Ms. Mahar, do you, Mahar, Ms. Mahar, do you agree <laughs> that there are none? <laughs> Seeing none. Thank you. I agree too. Thank you, <laughs> Mrs. Mahan. Just in case. <laughs> it's when the names start the same though. So I'm just waiting for the Diggins to course he takes. <laughs> I'll work on that. <laughs> Item seven on the agenda, traffic under the traffic rules and orders of the business. We have an update about long range planning from Mr. DeCourcy and Mr. Pula. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, members. Uh, I think a, a back and forth among uh, various people, thank you, at the Long Range Planning Committee, I think the consensus has come around to the idea that it would be best to have an override during FY24, but not as early as this June. I think people are looking at an override vote sometime in October. That would still affect the FY24 tax base. So putting it off over the summer doesn't change anything in terms of the ability to raise money. It also allows the uh, proponents of the override to put together a campaign. Uh, trying to do so between now and June seem a much too short period of time. Uh, and I know that in addition that the school committee itself has been working on its strategic plan and it wants to articulate more clearly the elements of that plan so that we here, you here, uh, the finance committee and the voters in town understand what the uh, school committee is trying to achieve through this override. So um, I think that is where things stand now. We will have continued long range planning committee meetings uh, in um, this spring. Uh, and then uh, I think probably the proper timing for a vote among the, from the board would be a vote sometime in June to set a date for uh, a vote by the public in October. Um, at that time, um, I would just happen to mention that we would also ask for a vote on the circuit breaker the town meeting passed a few years ago uh, got through the legislature to allow special tax relief for some of our uh, low-income uh, residents uh, so they get a, a break on, on their property taxes. Um, it has to be voted in by uh, the town voters. We have been <coughs> watching the State House. There's been some back and forth about maybe the, the state deciding to change the circuit breaker itself. That seems evident now that that's not going to happen, so it seems like the appropriate time to move forward with that vote here in town. So uh, we would be uh, looking for both those things to go on the ballot in the fall. Um, other than that, I think those are the kind of the political facts on the ground. We'll still look at numbers. Um, some may be tweaked a little here and there, uh, but that's where we stand today. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And, and just uh, a little bit further, thank you, Mr. Pooler, uh, for that. And at the last meeting, I had said there were some timing issues that make it challenging to discuss that, you know, to have a, an override vote in June. And, and I think as we've had additional discussions, and, and particularly with the school's strategic plan, because there will be more information coming out, but as to the June date for a potential vote, my understanding is we have to have a vote at least 35 days before the override is put on the, the municipal ballot, and that potentially could push us prior to Labor Day, and it seemed like it would be better to have that vote in June as opposed to a late summer vote. And you anticipate both votes in June? Yes. Both, both votes of the board, a recommendation to the board. Any questions, comments? No. I have none either. Thank you, gentlemen. Um, and thank you very much for your work, and also Mr. Diggins in the last year on, on the Long Range Planning Committee. I think that, that that's an important working group. It's, it serves to, to advise the town manager, but I think by, by, uh, by effect also to advise this body uh, about these really important decisions of timing and, and really sizing up the need um, and what we think the revenues are going to be and, and considering the impact on the taxpayer. 
So it's important work. That work will continue. Um, and I look forward to having that discussion over the coming weeks. Item 8, discussion and approval of the draft select board report to town meeting. Attorney High. Thank you, members of the board. Uh, Mr. Chairman, um, you have before you a uh, sort of more polished and complete version of the select board report. I did receive um, a few minor notes um, on some comma placements uh, and some spacing. Uh, there's also, um, in a bit of over editing, there was one instance where uh, there appeared to be a missing word. Um, that's relative to your comment with respect to um, the moratorium on turf fields. What that sentence just to one you should read is Poets Corner's proximity to wetlands essentially means that it would get a lot of review before any turf field was approved there. So um, those are the only uh, things that aren't already included um, in your uh, revised version of the select board report. The chair of the board will insert the comments, but uh, otherwise I think all the votes uh, accurately reflect the board's record on it, uh, including Mr. DeCourcy's sort of votes on a few on a few different matters, Mr. Helmut's recusals, um, and the language has been, you know, double checked with respect, especially with respect to the vote language itself. I also want to say I'm thankful to uh, Ms. Marr and uh, Ms. Costa and Mr. Maller for, you know, also taking a look at it so we should have a, a nice clean product. But this is really just something that we, we started doing, I don't want to say four or five years ago, Mrs. Mahan, is it correct? Just to make sure that everybody was comfortable with the content. Nobody wanted to change the quantum of vote based on a change in membership or anything like that. And we also got a chance to give you a, a polished version. You'll also see that there's a list of things for the appendix, appendices. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that's been moved out of the appendices purely for publication purposes, we already printed a CDBG report. So it's not going to be included in the back of your report, but it will be available to meeting members. Yeah. Ms. Moore, did you want anything? No, that's all. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll just offer clarification that I, I won't be writing uh, vote comments, but I, uh, apparently I'm, I'm writing the introduction, as I found out about three hours ago. So that's what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, yeah, we'll right. be by tomorrow morning so we can start printing. I, Motion I, to adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> um, any, any further comments from the board? Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, I've been kind of like flipping out of here because this has turned to a brick, and this was the one that had my red line version of um, the um, draft report. Mm -hmm. uh, so there is the, the, the resolution on the affordable housing overlay. I mean, I had changed in mine from, um, uh, what's the word, it, um, Epstein, me to a positive vote on that, and I need to give you some language me to go with my statement, me. So I will get that to you tomorrow. And I noticed on um, one of them, I think it's the, the there are a couple. I think one for CDB, um, you know what? Um, the the revolving funds. And um, I think the one under that is also one that has funding associated with it. Me and it seemed like the text me was misplaced. Like the comment me, it referred to the numbers above but that comment was actually above the numbers so it seemed like that comment should go underneath I'm sorry i don't have my version so yeah. i s okay. yeah yeah that on article 25 yeah on mine it's in the right place but we'll make sure okay i may pull i may have, i may have no. pulled down my draft early because i i tend to pull down my drafts on i have on. that the comment is after the vote it's after okay all right, so then, but you see what's happening. I do. Okay, all right. But well, we'll, we'll make sure it's. I'll try, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and so, <laughs> Thank so you. I will redo my version because I don't think this brick's coming back in, and then I'll get it to you tomorrow, you know, because, or, or tonight. So, okay. So that was it. I mean, but I, so I'll get you my comment on. Um, Very good. Yeah, all right. Any further notes, comments? Um, be, before we take a motion to vote, I want to take the opportunity to thank Attorney Heim, um, who is um, a busy town employee, and a lot of people don't know and see the work that he does on our select board votes. It is considerable, and not only just the labor of studying and making sure we get these really important votes right, but in understanding what is often a really complex and nuanced board discussion. 
and converting that understanding. And I, and I have to say with, with astonishing insight and accuracy into the comments that the town meeting reads, um, as usual, I had no, uh, no suggestions to make it any better, uh, Maternity Heim, and we are all grateful this and every year for your efforts. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yeah. Much okay. appreciated. Mr. Dickens. And I'll just say, I think you did a great job on Article 14, because it was an odd situation, to say the least, because I thought you, I thought you handled the, the comments from, from the board, you know, my colleagues uh, very well, so I was, I was happy uh, with that. So, yeah. With grace and aplomb. Yeah. Um, I believe I need a motion for approval. Mrs. Mahan? I'd like to move approval of the select board report to town meeting with um, the aforementioned uh, Amendments changes to be submitted by the end of tomorrow. Like tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> I was we have to, we have to, we have to print 300 copies ourselves and start stuffing envelopes tomorrow afternoon. Thank you. So. Thank you. Yeah. Sure, sure. And I believe I need a second. A second. Mr. Hurd. Uh, we'll go that with uh, Mr. Hurd. So on a motion to approve by Mrs. Mahan, seconded by Mr. Hurd. All in favor say yes. 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 Opposed? No. It is no. Opposed? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no. What did I do wrong? That's right. Sorry. Put me down as a yes on that. It's a unanimous <laughs> vote, and they so declare. Item 9, select board appointment to the 250th American Revolution Anniversary Commission. Turns out there is one, and that we need <laughs> to appoint someone, Mr. Hurd. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, yep, so this is the state commission, and we are missing a seat, which we didn't know about until about a week ago. So good communication there by the state. Um, but so we, we talked at the 2025 committee, there's a few names, and then there's a couple names that were promulgated to us from Senator Friedman and our wonderful Ms. Rowe, who was one of the names that was brought up by the 2025 committee. But when I texted with Clarissa, the name that they seemed most appropriately was Paul Fennelly. He's been he's been interfacing with Senator Friedman already on this, and um, he's is willing to serve. So uh, it would be my recommendation that the board appoint Paul Fenley as Arlington's representative on the commission. Second, one question. Yes, ma'am. I saw in the budget if I could ask through the chair to the town manager <coughs> or whomever appropriate. And I, I'm just not recalling it 100%, but do we have budgeted, I saw a budget allotment of $25,000. Is it to this committee? Is it to the Quincentennial Committee or something else? Or is my memory not remembering correctly? That's uh, 25000 is going to be for Arlington's 2025 committee. It's not the committee that we're appointing to right now. So that's the committee that I sit on with other Arlington residents. And we have... I mean, if they want to have us put it in an open session, we can we can bring an explanation of that. But there is a number of expenditures that we'll have. We have to hire, you know, spend money to make money, they say. So we hire consultants to help us with the numerous grants opportunities so people that can help us get more money to spend for the 2025 celebration. So that's for our Arlington's committee. So I guess I, I would ask the chair, just going forward, if you could just investigate if um, there is any financial commitment from the town that we need to consider and or perhaps um, designate. Um, sometimes there's, you know, you're not going to get the state fund unless there's a matching certain amount or something like that. So can I leave that in your... You, you may indeed, Mrs. Mahan. Um, in my reading of the, of the state um, session law that established this commission, it didn't mention any financial obligation on the part of the, of the appointing. Um, it does mention Arlington, though, amongst uh, some other towns. Um, but we'll make sure of that. Thank you. Yeah. And just, I think, for clarity, too, that there are, we have the, um, the local committee that Mr. Hurd serves on and, and leads. Um, and then we found out about the state commission that uh, Arlington needs a representative, too. Um, so they will work together. But they're two different things. Any further discussion? Um, I just want to say um, I've worked with, with Paul Fennelly, um, with, uh, he serves in the article Arlington Historical Society and has a well earned reputation as a doer. He gets things done, um, he knows his history, and um, I think it's an excellent choice, Mr. Hurd. So, any further discussion on a motion to appoint Paul Fennelly to the 250th American Revolution Anniversary Commission by 
Mr. Hurd, and seconded by Ms. Mrs. Mahan. All in favor, please say yes. 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 Opposed? It is unanimous vote. <coughs> Next item is a discussion of select board nominations to the Arlington Civilian Police Advisory Committee Commission. Um, there is a attachment in your board packets of a memo from, I believe, Mr. Feeney, somebody we you might just know, um, about the nomination process. Um, I have a note about acronyms. This is a suggestion I'm going to attempt to make as chair. When I first took, uh, took on, uh, the, we created the, C the Community Preservation Act Committee. Most communities call the CPA the CPC, the Community Preservation Committee. But we were asked by um, Mr. Foskett to please choose another acronym because there was already a CPC in Arlington, the Capital Planning Committee. <coughs> now, we already have a CPAC, the Community Preservation Act Committee. So ironically, <laughs> we are now the ones who, who don't want squatters. So. Um, it may not be mellifluous, but ACPAC is at least separate. So we, if we have the ACPAC, um, perhaps that will be an, an acronym that sticks and prevents uh, confusion with the existing CPAC. And I think that we should retire any uh, commissions with the sequence CPAC in them <laughs> from here on out. Um, but levity aside, um, and I'm going to turn this over to Mr. Poor in a moment to, to make any remarks about where uh, where he is so far. Uh, the, Mr. Pooler, the town manager, is, uh, does the appointments to this based on nominations from, from a whole host of town bodies. Um, and I believe Mr. Pooler has informed me that we're, we're in good shape about minimum requirements and qualifications. Um, but before I do that, my suggestion, and the reason this is a discussion, is to see what the board wants to do. We need to make this, make our, our picks um, by the end of next month. Um, and my suggestion would be that I appoint a subcommittee of the board to do that. And my specific suggestion would be myself and Mr. Hurd, who has agreed to serve and to serve as a screening uh, group for applicants and people who've expressed interest in that time we would bring our recommendations for our two people to back to the board for a full vote. Um, so that's my, my thought. Uh, have Mr. Pooler weigh on anything that you think we should know, and then we'll hear some discussion. So we have put out calls to the various uh, committees that were listed in the bylaw. Uh, we have from other committees already the three types of persons that uh, I must appoint to ACPEC. Uh, one with a criminal defense or civil rights uh, related to police searches, arrests, and detainments. Uh, second, somebody with a background in data analysis. And a third, somebody working with underserved communities, such as but not limited to social workers, mental health counselors, or civil forums of legal aid. So uh, I do have other appointees that meet those criteria. So uh, it would ask the board to just nominate whoever you think would be most appropriate to serve on the commission. Thank you, Mr. Poole. Discussion? All right. I don't think we need a vote, so and, um, if everyone's supportive of that plan, I'll proceed. And we'll come back to you with our announcements. Thank you very much. Item 11, future select board meetings. So we do not have any on the books at the moment. Uh, next Monday is a holiday, and I think we can afford to take that off. I would suggest the week following, or the, the rest of that week as well. Um, the first night of town meeting, I believe, is April the 24th. Um, so I would entertain suggestions from the board and from our board administrator about uh, what we should look at for you know, the abbreviated meetings we'll have in April, of course, will be the hour when we have the report time meeting on Monday or Wednesday. So will we be meeting before every town meeting? I, I that's not, I, I wouldn't think so. Yeah. Um, and this is where I think this is my first, you know, first time as chair to do this. But Ms. Mahar, do you have? We would have to post if the board is going to meet yeah. prior. Yeah. So right. if the board is planning to meet before everyone, we would have to post in conformance with the order. Of course, yeah. 
So if you plan to meet April the 24th, it would be posted as if. Yeah. I'll note that it should be probably at 7 to yeah. a lot for time, if not earlier, yeah. if you would like to meet the night before town meeting. Yeah. Other than that, we usually stray away from meeting the nights of town meeting. Yeah. But that's obviously up to the board. I mean, I'm just I'm sort of cognizant of, of some of the business that we you know particularly with licenses and permits that we want to, to keep going. Yeah. Um, but you know, and, and I my recollection limited to the past is that we we try to avoid uh, big topics and discussions that would take up a lot of time during you know during that period where town meetings in session. But yeah. well, I mean, certainly want to work on wrapping up the the, the pilot thing for overnight. I mean, and so. So I am going to do the editing of the regulations, I mean, so I can have that ready for you all. But I'd like to, um, if we don't do that on the first night, then maybe the second night of town meeting, no later than I mean the 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 third night. That first, I guess it would be May first, you know. So if not April twenty first, then May first. So the potential dates would be first night of town meeting, April twenty uh, fourth, and that. I mean, my own thought on that is that just, we don't have a specific role in conducting town meeting, but, but there'll be a lot to organize that night. Um, and it could be, it could be a lot of a work ahead of time. We could do the 26th, which would be a Wednesday, um, or May 1st, which would be a Monday. Is that your suggestion? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I, mean, I guess my inclination would be to do May 1st, that Monday, you know, as opposed to the Wednesday, but. <coughs> Give everyone a moment to check their calendars. I should check mine. So, are we saying meeting April 24th and May 1st, or just our next meeting will be May 1st? I think we're talking next meeting May 1st, right? Yeah, I think that's the proposal if we can, which that's would be fine. That's fine. I just want to make yeah. sure that do we need. And that would be three weeks from tonight, but. Ms. Uh, Ms. Mark? I would just note that if we wanted to do the 24th, typically in May, we'd get back to the second and fourth Tuesday. So it would be like May 8th and May 22nd. If that's second, second or fourth, fourth Monday. Sorry, what did I say? Tuesday. 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 Yeah. You said Taco Tuesday. Oh, yeah, gosh. So if we wanted to, do the, wanted to do the 24th and then got back on every other Monday. I'm hopeful that the 22nd we wouldn't still be in town meeting, but yeah, Mr. Hurd, don't we have to meet on the first night in town meeting? I thought we did too. I don't think we have to. Yeah, to, so we can be in session in town meeting. Actually, I don't know. So I think I, I don't ever remember any first night in town meeting that we did. Yeah, yeah same here. Historically, what you have done is you have convened here in the chambers and then say that you are basically continuing to be in session for the limited purposes of town meeting throughout um, the length of town meeting. You basically adjourn with town meeting as a select board because in the event that you guys want to convene to discuss something that's within your purview, both as sort of like a prophylactic measure under the open meeting law and also just to give you the opportunity to discuss something as a select board rather than as town meeting members. So that's, that's historically what you do. I believe Ms. Mahan, you traditionally. That was my claim to fame that mm -hmm. we when I first. It's yeah. Pretty clever. Yeah. So yeah. we'll meet, meet the 24th, but yeah. I don't, that well, may be the only thing on. And we may briefly have just some consent agendas. There are a lot of restaurants that have outside seating that would be consent agenda that need a vote and able to put their outside seating on. So it would just be a vote of consent agenda. So there are little things in the office that we would have. Right. Okay, so 24, 7. So, yeah, we, I think, so it seems clear that we need to have a, a brief meeting, at least on the 24th, to, to, to have that, that utility opening for us for the purpose of town meeting. At that time, there could be some, some consent items, but I think the question is, do we attempt to do anything more substantive than that? You know, I, I, have, I have my, I'm hesitant to, to tackle the parking that night because mm. uh, I, I don't know how, when I'll need to get called down to town meeting and get ready to, to help initiate it. Sure, sure. Yeah, so we can do that on the first then. So, yeah, so the question is then, you know, how do we feel about also meeting on the first for that maybe the only agenda item would be the parking, changing the parking regulations? I mean, both those Mondays are tough for me. I can kind of manipulate one. 
How we can just miss another, is another it, one. It's going to miss do both of those Mondays. Is it the Mondays that are tough for you? Would Wednesdays work better for you, Mr. Hurd? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Um, I just... Well, well, what about eight and twenty-two? Eight will give you enough, certainly enough time. Or is that, does that not work for the parking? When's the parking well, set to have, start? We'd like to start in July. That, that, was, that was already pushing back from June, you know. So, so I mean, it, it's, it, I think essentially what I'm going to put in it is the material that I handed out the, at the last meeting that we discussed. It's really a matter of integrating that into. The regulations I mean, you know, for us to you know, sign off on, on those changes. So I don't think there's nothing, gonna, nothing in substance. There's going to be no substantive change I mean, to the I mean, the parameters that I listed three or four meetings ago. You know. So, um, so you're thinking. So I guess, Mr. Hurd, I mean, is it the first and the eighth that are tough for you? Is it would the fifteenth or the twenty-second work for you? I mean, I can miss some of the stuff. It's just to throw them on, just to throw them on. I don't know. You go around your schedules, I guess. What's that? Um, I just don't want to. I mean, we we definitely have not met a lot during town meeting, and we try to, like has been said, not do anything of, of substance. It's just. I mean, licenses and stuff that we have to do, fine, but everything else just has to wait. Um, so. Mr. Corson, do you have any views on this? You've been involved in some of the, some of the work on the, on the park as well. Yeah, I, well, I, I, I definitely think if, if we're going to be meeting on the 24th, so I don't think May 1, um, I, I, I think. Mm, I agree. And if, if Ms. Marr is saying that we go back to the two meetings in May, maybe we put it on for May 8th. In May 22, um, to, to and, with the understanding meetings, yeah. it's, a, it's a limited meeting, but that it sounds like either one of those dates is going to work the time work with the time frame you're thinking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we okay. can start putting some wheels in motion, you know, with with the town in, 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 in anticipation that we we may have to tweak things a little bit, <laughs> but that we're going to move forward. You know, okay. that was the that was the general sense from that yeah. last meeting was that yeah. you all. We approved of all the measures that were listed. Now it's just a matter of writing the text and changing the, mm -hmm. the parking sure. regulations. You know, I mean, and I mean, we can get started, and we can always like bail out. I mean, so just because we get started doesn't mean that you know, we're locked in. But at least if we get started on the details, I me mean, then at least you know, we won't have missed the ability or ruined the ability to start on the first July. The beginning of July. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll just add that May 8th and May 22nd both work fine for me. Okay. Do we want to do the 24th and the 8th at 7 with the anticipation? Let me, I had a comment. Let me just get the comment from Mrs. Mahan. Um, just for efficiency's sake, that regarding, because I'm still back and forth on the pilot program, honestly, right. because we, we're still discussing it, but it would be my preference that. Um, we, when everything's down, written, and available for all of us to review, that is just one night versus discussing it one night and then discussing it another night. And if that's the 22nd, that's fine. But I, it, that would just be my preference um, for that. Well, and, I, and I think what's useful, I mean, the, the, what we're waiting to say tonight is setting the dates of, the, of our meetings so that we have them scheduled. And I think I'll work with Mr. Diggins to, mm. uh, to, for the timing of, of when to put that one I, I I think my personal preference would also be um, to really just get this done in one night, you know, so that, because we've had a number of discussions and a number of meetings sure. of that. So, you know, finding the balance between having that ready to roll and sure. being able to, to, to do that in a little under an hour, you know, where we can meet earlier if we need to. Yeah, and, and thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I also think, depending on what's happening at town meeting, we don't know what's going to be that's happening right. on May 8th. So if, if right. that's a schedule you know you're going to be busy or the board is going to have a number of articles, then you, you may want to do it on the 22nd. But right, that's we right. Know that we will know that until we starts. get there. Yeah. All right, so I think we set our meetings. Uh, and Ms. Martin, does that sound right to you? You understand that April 24th, May 8th, and May 22nd. And for May 24th and May 7th? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
It's highly likely we'll be done by the 22nd. <laughs> yeah, no, I think there's a good chance yeah, for this year. Yeah, I'll be surprised. Too, Can so. we do June? Yeah, June. Please. Yes, Sorry. let's do June. Okay. And then um, also, Mr. Chair, it's up to you to get a census of the board or a sense of the board mm -hmm. in terms of our board goal setting meeting mm -hmm. concurrent with um, the town manager, um, which means should more times than not, we've met in um, July, but I'm thinking just the terms of the contract. It may be in August, but I'll leave that for you to work out, which neither of those things are in June. But yeah, no, but thank if you we for that heads up. Yeah. All right, so let's take a look at June. Um, so we'll have met, uh, currently scheduled for May 22nd, but in the next weekend is Memorial Day weekend, which is convenient. Would we want to do June 5th? Yes. Okay. That works. June 5th. And then we do two, do we two meet, do meetings in June typically? Yes, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the second on the 19th, is that okay? Do you want to meet on June? June 18th. And that's, that is a holiday for Arlington now, yep, okay. So instead of that, uh, how's the 21st? Which is a Wednesday. I'm okay. It's the following Monday. Sorry? It's supposed to the following Monday. What's your, you have a preference? I prefer to stick with Mondays, but, but if people prefer the 21st instead, and if you think, if you think that's too long, you know, or anyone thinks, any other for the board? I mean, we've had, I don't remember when the first meeting was, but I, we've had a few years where our second meeting in June was like June 28th, so mm -hmm. I think that's fine. Yeah, that, I have no objection. Yeah. 26th. Okay, so the 26th then. All right. And uh, Ms. Murray, would you send those out to, uh, to the board by email? Just, uh, yeah, I'll send an email. Yeah, great, thank you. Thank you all. That's good to thank you, Ms., uh, Ms. Mah Mrs. Mahan, for getting us through June. Okay, next item is correspondence received, item 12. We have a resolution in favor of universal meals for all. This comes to us from the chair, uh, most recent chair of the Arlington School Committee. Request for memorial for Mary W. and John B. Byrne by, from Rob Marchant. A response from National Grid regarding gas links from Amy Smith of National Grid. Crossing concerned on Dow Avenue from Jen Sullivan and a retirement announcement from the Veterans Services Director. Do I have a motion? So, I would like to move receipt and uh, direct the one on um, Dow Avenue to TAC. You know, the one from the school committee I found was interesting. You know, and and um, and I would I mean, it's a resolution, but it. In order to just do more than just receive it and you know, be done with it, I thought the first thing that the school committee was doing was pretty interesting. It was connecting with the just kids or something um, and, and joining forces with them in order to help get the legislation passed. And I would like to uh, somehow connect more with the school committee, you know, to follow along with that, see what maybe more um, could be done. You know, um, and so I know we. We're supposed to have a joint meeting with the school committee in, uh, in January or something. That didn't work out, I mean, but we certainly had indicated a desire to work more with the school committee. I think this would be an opportunity for us to do that, and I would be happy to be the person to um, make that connection with them and see what more we can do to advance it other than just kind of saying we received this because that's one of my issues with these sort of things is that it just gets received and nothing happens. I mean, and so I'd like to see if we're going to take this and do something with it. Um, Thank you, Mr. Diggins. So that's a motion. <laughs> that is a motion, and I wrote it down, and I'm glad that I did. <laughs> do I have a second? Second. Um, by way of further discussion, I would just note that uh, my putting this on a correspondence received was just the resolution itself from the school committee uh, requested it be delivered to the select board, so I thought that it would be important to have in the public record that we received it. Yeah. On a motion from Mr. Diggins oh, and uh, yes, Mrs. Mahan. Uh, two things: the request for the burn memorial. Um, mm. I, I'll leave that to the chair to discuss with the town manager if that's something that goes to the public memorial committee, mm -hmm. and/or um, if we should contact a representative of St. Agnes because. I just have a memory at that island that there is something there, but it may be the landscape company. Um, so mm -hmm. can I leave that to you, Mr. Chair, whether yeah. that's a town manager and chair, or whether that should go to the public memorial committee. <coughs> and then the um, retirement announcement from our, for our veteran services mm -hmm. director, 
it's a heavy heart, um, Jeff and his wife Diane, every time they would, you know, the dignitaries would give extra thanks to Diane, it was Diane Chungo, not me, Diane Mahan. Um, uh, and I'll look forward to Mr. Pooler, the town manager, providing the board with uh, appropriate steps to uh, commemorate Mr. Chungo and Diane's service, 10 years to the town, as well as, um, I don't know if it's appropriate, but moving forward, uh, whatever role Mr. Chungo could have um, in terms of not just turnover of current projects pending, but I don't know, whatever the town manager thinks appropriate in terms of either uh, parameters for posting or parameters for uh, recruiting or whatever. Am I saying that appropriately? Mr. Mr. Very appropriately. <laughs> Not really. Um, he has expressed an interest to continue to be involved with the uh, Veterans Memorial Park. Um, and uh, so we'll We'll see how that goes. We, of course, have to get a replacement for him um, and uh, then integrate the, the two of them in the way that works best. But he has expressed a strong interest, and I think that would be great for the project. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. And I did want to say that uh, I look forward to working with the town manager and, and perhaps my colleagues to find an appropriate moment to publicly recognize and thank um, Mr. Chunglo for his service to the veteran community and to this community. So on a motion uh, to receive and refer by Mr. Diggins and seconded by Mr. Hurd. All in favor, please say yes. 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 Opposed? It is unanimous. All right. We have reached the new business portion of our meeting and we'll do our round the horn style starting with board administrator Ms. Mahar. No, no, Ms. Mr. Hi. You've got a report to write, so uh, I'm yeah. no new business. That's fair. <laughs> Ms. Pruller. 850, no new business. <laughs> Mrs. Mahan. Um, if I could, my new business will be either to the chair or through the chair in terms of the meeting we had scheduled for May um, regarding Poets Corner, Park and Rec Commission. I believe that's been rescheduled. Could someone speak to that just very briefly? Mr. Yes, Brewer. I would be glad to. Uh, it has been rescheduled. Uh, it was originally April 11th. It was going to be tomorrow. It is now, I believe, May 15th, but I will confirm that with you. Did you say May 15th? Yes. But, uh, oh, but you confirm. Okay. Yeah, but I'm, I'm pretty sure just from memory that's, that's when it is. And if you could just, is that a come to town hall hybrid? What kind of meeting? Or to be determined? Um, I think it would be... Uh, it would be hybrid, but um, we would have it, you know, live so that people could come. Um, it would be people presenting information from multiple sides of the issue, trying to get better understanding of what the facts are. Um, and um, so uh, I think it would be a good information session. Okay, now I'm going to leave it to you, Mr. Chair. Okay. I don't know if it's appropriate that... Um, notice of that meeting go to um, the town meeting member mailing list mm. um, yeah. just where I'll leave that for you thank you which means not me thank you that's my new business it is officially off your plate <laughs> <laughs> thank you Mrs. Mohan Mr. Hurd no no business Mr. DeCourcy thank you Mr. Chairman very briefly um, I just wanted to wish a regular viewer of our select board meetings in Belmont, my mother, a happy birthday. April 10th Yay! is her birthday, and I want to wish her a happy birthday. Yay! Happy birthday. Mrs. Corsi, right? Mrs. DeCorsi. Yeah. And DeCorsi. Yeah. 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 Happy birthday. You know, and um, I knew this is, uh, I don't know if everyone else received the letter from a town meeting member um, regarding Madly Oxy Way, you know, but I did, being it so. I, um, I, I think we need to be, let people know, you know what is not going to happen and, and why, you know, and so uh, just maybe try to wrap that up I mean, at a future meeting, you know. Okay. So, yeah, maybe even the 24th if we have time, I can work that out with you, but yeah, you know. So, yeah. Okay. yeah, remind me of that. Thank yeah, you. Sure. Yeah. 
Um, I have no new business of my own, but I would say to, uh, to Mrs. DeCourcy, <laughs> um, based on uh, the experience I've got so far, you raised him right. <laughs> Move to adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> on a motion to adjourn by Mrs. Mahan, seconded by Mr. Diggins. And Mr. Hurd. And Mr. Yeah, well, whoever, you know. All in favor say yes. 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 Opposed, we are adjourned. Yes.